We do want to get back to that breaking news now. An anti fourth uh, protest, anti July 4th protest, stopping traffic on I 5 right now. We have CBS 13's Rachel Wolf. She just got to that scene. Rachel, describe for us what you're seeing. Uh, this is very chaotic, without question. There are a number of police here on the scene. CHP talking to a woman right over there. We had a number of other people with their hands up in the air. This is a, an eclectic group of people who are protesting the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. There's also a number of other people here with different causes, anti-government, a uh, number of people that are holding up signs, talking about abortion. Um, but again, we haven't gotten real close yet. We're staying back a little bit while this group faces off against CHP and other law enforcement. A man just walked up to me and said that this was the same group that was down in Old Sacramento last night protesting. Not really sure if that's the case or not, but without question, this disrupting interstate commerce, as you can see, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of folks backed up here, some of them getting out of their cars trying to figure out what's happening. These folks, and I'm just going to walk right here. A little farther along here, Dave, follow me if you will. We're going to try to get a better shot as to what's going on and maybe talk with some of these folks who are here. Hi, how are you guys doing? Are you with the protest? So what exactly are you guys protesting today? We are protesting our reproductive rights, reproductive rights for anyone with a uterus. We are protesting um, the government just in general right now. And why today? Because it's July 4th and people think we should celebrate our country when they're taking away our rights. In, in any particular group, like one group or many? There's just many groups here, honestly. Okay. Yeah. All right. And what is hoped to be accomplished? Are you going to stay here as long as it takes? or? We're gonna probably, we might stay here all day just because it's July 4th and I think everyone's just forgetting like that they took away our rights a few days ago. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. So that's what's happening here. Not really sure where this is going. But as you can see, CHP taking this seriously and uh, discussing what is happening with a number of people. And if you pan over here, you've got folks in cars now getting out of their vehicles. I would just advise folks, if you're on an interstate, please don't get out of your vehicle. The safest place to be is inside your vehicle. So we're going to talk to a few more people here, see what's going on, and get you more information for later on in the day. Rachel, thank you so much for that live update. Obviously, still a lot of uh, chaos, a lot of people next to you there. And I also wanted to pull up a different vantage point. Of course, Rachel's on the ground there, and I'm trying to get my computer to load. But this is I-5 at the 50 junction, and you can see, I know it's a little dark right now. It might start to, to buffer and reload. But traffic is backed up for a while because of this. We know, 4th of July, this is typically an incredibly busy travel day. We have millions of people hitting the road for the holiday weekend, of course. And now you can see vehicles trying to get off of the freeway at I-5. This is the 50 junction again, the northbound lanes heading toward downtown Sacramento. So if you can't avoid this area, I would certainly advise to do so. We'll continue to update this on our website, cbs13.com.